how how do you deal with the emotion that comes with, because, you know, you will have people, I, I presume that this room here could be a visitation room yep, and you use it in that capacity. Yep. How do you deal then as a company with the high emotions that people bring to these life events? Well, it, or it, it's a lot case, of practice. Death events. Yeah, yeah. sure. Well, it, it's a, both really. It's a, it's a mm -hmm. lot of practice really. It's mm -hmm. uh, you can, uh, you can go to school and read it every book that you can get your hand on. But until you're sitting across from someone whose mother just passed away and you're listening and you're looking in their eyes, it, it is uh, the only way you can learn is by doing it. So we've had a lot of practice listening and uh, active listening uh, goes a long way. I don't need to be an expert when someone's telling about uh, their heartache of, of just losing somebody. So often I'm just listening with someone, looking directly in their eyes, listening to the story, really, really hearing it. So when I see them next time, I could say, you know, were you able to get the dog out? Because I know you're really upset about the dog. And, and just really kind of connecting as a human being with other human beings, as opposed to this is just a business transaction. Right. Uh, people see through that. Uh, I would I would see through it myself. So, you know, it's it's endless practice of dealing with every walk of life, which which we do. And some people, you know, you know, grief, you've been you've been through grief mm -hmm. where uh, mm -hmm. sometimes you're, you're destroyed by it. Sometimes mm -hmm. uh, you're angry. Uh, sometimes you're totally. Nope, no, I'm good. You know, and that that and you sort of you get a, a sense of sort of reading, reading people and reading the body language and the words. And sometimes there is no words, but. You know, it's, it's a lot of uh, just giving people lots of space uh, to, to do their thing. Sometimes the angry part, it spills out. Now they're angry at me. Uh, and, you know, I, I can't react to that. Say, what? I'm just a funeral guy. So I just know, okay, yeah. They're, and they usually mm -hmm. apologize later. Mm -hmm. Family is a dynamic organism. Uh, you can sit down in a room full of family. And sometimes it's this wonderful Waltons kind of thing. And other times it is World War Three. And uh, mm -hmm. so it's, you know, we, we, because we serve literally everybody, everyone is our client and every family is different. So practice, practice, practice. I want to touch on values mm. because family is obviously a huge value that you cherish in sure. your company and yeah. you do a lot for the community and you're involved in the community. And you just gave a good example of, you know, seeing someone on the street and then being able to recall the situation that they were in and making note of that. Like, what about the dog? Did we able to sort that out? Sure. How important is it to be cognizant and to do things like that, to re recognize people on the street, acknowledge them, how does that impact, you know, the work that you do? Well, I, I, I think it's, it's a vital, you know, for lack of a better term, a tool, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, yeah, it's a way of, uh, I, I know I love to see someone that, uh, we all do this. You see someone think, oh, Cheryl's so busy. She sees so many people. She's not going to remember me. And then you go, you go, hey, James, how's it going? How's your dog? Or whatever. I'm like, you remember me? Right. You heard me? And, and we connected. I love that. So I, I, and I'm normal, I think. Most people are normal. So I, I know other people like that too. Or little things like uh, I meet someone and, 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 uh, and I'm remembering our conversation. And I say, you know what? Your son speaks very highly of you because they've told me how what an awesome person that you know th that they are in the family and receiving that third party praise you love that mm -hmm, i love that mm -hmm. so i think other people do too so they're they're not they're not like they're not uh deceptive or uh, uh what's the word uh, manipulative Manipul too. yeah manipul yeah it's I, I think like they're just simple human things like old world stuff where you, because i've heard you and thankfully right now at 52 I, my memory still works pretty good god willing it'll stay with me but, uh, you know, I, I, it's those little interactions where people say, he's just a regular person. You know, I wasn't sort of like, hey, uh, file number 397, you haven't paid your bill yet. Like, that's not. Um, right. So, yeah. That aspect of how you conduct business and how you connect with the community might be as traditional as it gets around here. Sure. Yeah, I, I guess so. Yeah. You know, yeah. and everything else seems so modern and progressive. Frankly, for me personally, sure. comfortable. Oh, good. good. You know, good. when and and to, and just so you know, this is the first time I'm physically in yeah. this building. Today. Yeah. yeah. So when I came in, my immediate thought was, "It's an upscale home." Oh, nice. That, that was the impression that I got. Okay, good. And I good. think you can probably tell by the decor, but like that made me feel really comfortable. Oh, good. And not at all like a funeral home. Like creepy. Right. Like not creepy.